Hello everyone, and welcome to another DIL concept analysis. This is a series of videos where I discuss about each dinosaur concept released by the DIL devs team. If you are interested in checking other analysis, I will put the notification on the top right corner that will take you directly to the playlist. Last week I mentioned in the end of the video that Carnotaurus would be the next subject on the series. But after some pre-investigation of its concept, I concluded that it was irrelevant to make a video about this specific dinosaur, since it's already in the game, and no more additional information is shown. Instead, today we will explore the Ceratosaurus concept art, so sit back and enjoy the video. Ceratosaurus nasicornis, meaning horned lizard was a medium-sized theropod from the late Jurassic, 145 to 160 million years ago. Its genus was first described in America 1884, however, many other specimens were found across Europe and Africa. This carnivorous theropod could reach up to 10 feet tall and 26 feet long, as well as weighing up to 2 tons. Not very impressive for dinosaur standards, but still an enormous beast compared to modern nature. The distinctive feature of this prehistoric lizard is its set of three blade-shaped horns on the upper half of its skull, a somewhat common aspect that defined the ceratosauric clade. Speaking of skulls, Cerus had a quite large head proportion to the rest of its body, and with the addition of having exceptionally long and sharp teeth, Ceratosaurus would have been devastating predators during its time despite living in direct competition with Allosaurus, a more well-known and larger carnivore that lived alongside each other. This Jurassic theropod also possessed osteoderms running across its back to the tip of its tail, representing a common form of protection and that an indicator of competition. Complementary, its tail was quite flexible, being a good support for swimming like modern crocodiles. Since Ceratosaurus is a legacy dino, we can assume that its appearance and size won't diverge from its current state. So let's analyze this version first. The Isle Ceratosaurus has identical proportions to its real-life counterpart, showing that it's aesthetically realistic. Although I'm sure some of you missed the old Ceratorex. Don't worry, I miss it too. In legacy, Seri is a mid-tier carnivore, with a focus of sheer bite force rather than relying on its bleed since it's objectively the worst bleeder in the game. However, its high bite force of 350, its fast bite speed as well as running speed, makes it a fierce predator on the right hand. Its significantly low HP and very poor ambush speed are its main weaknesses, especially the former, making it an unpopular character choice for many players. In Evrima, it seems that Ceratosaurus won't change drastically, Let's see what we can find. Here we can see that he will probably be able to handle prey of similar size in combat, as we can observe with this specimen absolutely obliterating the Magis face. We can also theorize that they not only heavily compete with each other as seen with these two pictures, but it's also a cannibal, shown by this illustration of an adult Ceratosaurus picking up a juvenile Sarah carcass. Speaking of carcasses, Apparently, Sarahs don't give a fuck about what they eat, as we can see here with this adult specimen eating a rotten stegosaurus carcass, showing their scavenger tendencies as speculated months ago by the community. Also important to note, here it shows another specimen fleeing from an allo to a water source, if it is implied that they swim better than other theropods, good on the devs for extra realism. Here is another ceratosaurus hunting a Dinosuchus, it is not clear what this implies, it may indicate the Ceratosaurus dominance over the croc, or that he just has an easier time hunting them. With the additional information that we can gather from the previous segment, it is possible that the latter might be the case. This illustration, however, is somewhat interesting. Most people probably didn't pay much attention to this one, assuming it's a wallowing animation. But if we zoom in, we can see that it's not mud, it's water, shallow water to be exact. It is probable that this might be mere level to character interactions that Kissen mentioned several times on the Owl's dev blog. But if we are lucky, 
this may imply a unique mechanic to Saros. The new bleed mechanic won't change Saros' playstyle since they don't rely on bleed in the first place, and the lack of ambush speed might give them a significant advantage. However, one of the Serato's biggest strengths was its maneuverability, with its sharp and fast turn speed, something that may not be exclusive to them anymore. With Evrimen's imputed all turn, all dinosaurs can turn in place, nullifying one of the few advantages Sarah had. There are three possible solutions for this. Increase its HP, although it is a risky choice since he is already decently fast and deals high bite damage. Increase its speed, unlikely since that would directly compete with Carno's niche. Increase its bite force, this one seems to be the most reasonable of the three, making it a high risk reward dinosaur that can kill just as fast as he can die, forcing players to adapt to a more calculated playstyle using the element of surprise in addition with their speed and pure damage to down their opponent, while at the same time they are fast enough to avoid any potential danger they might come across. Their scavenger behavior will probably be linked to the upcoming diet system, being the dinosaur that is affected by it the least. This turns Sarah into a survivalist, a predator that has easy access to digestible food since he can eat everything a big advantage in times of scarcity. However, if they are not changed, and with the addition of new carnivorous faces to the Isles roster, it is likely that Ceratosaurus will go down to the bottom of the food chain, feeding on the carcasses claimed by bigger and stronger predators. And that's all for today. Next up we will investigate the life of Saurus concept art. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch further analysis, subscribe to my channel. There's also other content that you might enjoy as well, so feel free to check it out. As always, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Stay safe.